Hey folks, uh, this lesson is applications with absolute values. This is a really quick lesson, you guys. So, and they're pretty much the same sort of setup here. So here's a, a, a problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. A machine at a lumber mill cuts boards that are 3.25 meters long. It's uh, acceptable. So it, imagine this machine is cutting these uh, uh, these boards. Um, are they exactly 3.25 meters long? Well, no. Some are a little bit more. Some are a little bit less. So. So here it says it's acceptable for the length uh, to differ from this value by at most um, uh, two hundredths of a meter. Okay, remember this is tenths, this is hundredths, so or 0 0.02, but two hundredths of a meter. So write and solve absolute value inequality uh, and inequality to find the range of acceptable lengths. Okay, so I'm going to let L be our acceptable length right here. And since the sign of the difference between L and 3.25 doesn't matter, what that means is um, um, it's, it's plus or minus this, three point, or this uh, uh, two hundredths of a meter right here. So it doesn't matter if we're adding or subtracting. So anyways, um, uh, we take the absolute value of the difference. And if you're in my class and if you're in any of our classes here at uh, our school, uh, they want you to set it up with an absolute value, okay? So um, uh, with the phrase at most, it's going to be less than or equal to. So this is within the acceptable um, uh, lengths right here. Okay, so if it said at least, it'd be greater than or equal to. But this one says at most right here. So uh, right here it says at most. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and solve this absolute value, okay? So when it's set up like this, we put the inside stuff uh, within the, the negative and the positive right here. Okay, so real easy right here. We're just going to go ahead and add 3.25 to both sides. And, and so our acceptable lengths are going to be um, 3.23 meters um, to 3.27 meters. Okay, nice and easy. All right, so let's do that with this one. Same setup, you guys. A box of cereal is supposed to weigh 13.8 ounces. Okay, is it exactly 13.8 ounces? Well, some are probably a little bit more and some are probably a little bit less. So they say the acceptable weight uh, can vary as much as one-tenth of an ounce. Okay, this is in the tenths spot. So, so write and solve an absolute value inequality to find the range of acceptable uh, weights. Okay, so here's our absolute value set up right there, and we will require that you put that down. Uh, and anyway, so, um, so same setup. We put it uh, the inside stuff between the negative uh, Point 0.1 and, and the positive point 0.1 and we just add 13.8 to everything and and so our acceptable weights are between 13.7 uh, ounces and 13.9 ounces all right okay if you are in our class there's your assignment and there's the answers to the odds all right take care